Fox Weather is your Hurricane HQ, and as we look ahead to the 2025 season, it's important to look back uh, to help know what we can expect into the future. We have decades of data and records going back to 1851 that all help forecasting models. But one scientist from the University of Arizona has records that go back a whole lot farther than that. We're talking about hundreds of years, and it's all thanks to things like tree rings and shipwrecks. Joining us now is Dr. Valerie True. She's a professor in the Laboratory of Tree Ring Research at the University of Arizona. Dr. True, it's great to have you with us on Fox Weather. C can you explain this to us? Because I love the fact that you think back the satellite era of meteorology, it only goes back to the 1960s. You're looking a whole lot farther than that. Yeah, thanks for having me, Ian, and thanks for that great question. Um, Indeed, we use century old trees, trees that can be up to 500, even a thousand years old, to look back at how the climate has been in the past, how hurricanes have happened in the past, how fires, when fires occurred, when heat waves, floods, um, all of these things occurred over these past centuries. Yeah, and you, you look back uh, at the, the 1600s. I had mentioned that it allows us to look more macro. That was closer to a solar minimum. And what the data suggests is there was something like three quarters or 75 percent fewer hurricanes. So what does this tell us as we start to look forward with some of our forecastable variables? What can the data do for us uh, looking into the future? Yeah, thanks. So we, we collected tree rings um, from trees on the Florida Keys, as as you know, an area that uh, where hurricanes happen quite frequently. And what we found when we went back, indeed, with those trees to the 1600, we found a period of about 75 years from the, the mid 1600s to the early 1700s, when there was very few hurricanes compared to the per period before and the period after. And that period um, is known as the Mounder Minimum. We know um, that there was much, uh, there was a period when the sun sent out a lot less energy toward the earth uh, than it normally does. Um, and um, yeah, so, so the, the minimum of the sun caused, you know, less energy from the sun means cooler temperatures, means um, cooler sea surface temperatures and ocean temperatures. And that means fewer hurricanes, because in order for a hurricane to happen, they happen in the summer season, because that's when the ocean temperatures are high. You need a certain threshold um, of, of the ocean temperatures in order for hurricanes to be able to happen. And so what that tells us towards the future is that as ocean temperatures are rising, which they are doing now, the chances of um, hurricanes happening are higher and the hurricanes happen, uh, the hurricane season gets longer and longer uh, as well um, because these ocean temperatures are at the threshold uh, warmth uh, for a longer period yeah. of time. Yeah, and centuries of data to support that. Before we let you go, I wanted to ask you about you, the scientist, because this is fascinating, but it, it's pretty niche uh, looking at the correlation <laughs> here of the shipwrecks and the tree rings. How did you come to this subject uh, of interest to study? Yeah, the, the, I get that question quite often. It's indeed quite, ne quite niche, as you say, to, to dedicate a career to tree ring research. Um, I'd always been uh, interested in the climate, and um, when I was looking for a topic for my master's thesis, um, there was two conditions. I wanted to do something related to climate, and I wanted to travel abroad. And so at my university, there was one topic that came up that was about um, climate in Eastern Africa. Um, and it involved tree rings. I'd never heard of tree rings before, but I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll go do that because it's climate and it's, it's Tanzania. Um, and that's how I got started. And then once I collected the samples, you know, you're in a lab, you're looking at wood samples, you're trying to solve a puzzle, trying to see how these rings relate to the climate. And it's really quite, um, I got a little uh, addicted to it, to yeah. solving proposals while looking at this wood. And so I, I, I've never done anything else since. I went on to do a PhD and I'm a professor and uh, it's, it's a great, great sure. field of 
to yeah. be in. You had me in the first 10 seconds. Earth sciences and traveling to cool places. Uh, that's exactly. all you need. <laughs> and what a, what a fantastic thing uh, to make a career out of it. And the data, the data tells a very interesting story, too. So we appreciate you taking the time to, to talk with us a little bit about it. That's Dr. Valerie True, the professor in the Laboratory of Tree Ring Research at the University of Arizona. Uh, thanks for being here with us on a Friday afternoon. Thank you so much for having me, Ian. Anytime.